Greetings everybody and welcome back to another one of my astrology videos. My name is Sean Van De Veen, and today I'm going to talk about a transit that occurs only if one lives long enough to experience it. This is when the transiting planet of Pluto moves into direct opp opposition with itself. Yes, this video is about Pluto opposition Pluto and it's only towards the end of one's life usually by the time they reach their 80s or 90s, or even if they live to be a centenarian, will they feel the effects of this transit. At the time of this recording, the generation beginning to experience this will be those born while Pluto was in Leo, between 1938 and 1957. As all of us who study astrology know, Pluto will begin to shift into the sign of Aquarius in 2023. Now, what exactly does a Pluto opposition Pluto kind of energy bring? Well, let's break it down. Pluto is the planet of destruction, transformation, death, rebirth, regeneration, transmutation, hidden depths, esoteric knowledge, and the masses. It is personified by war, nuclear weapons, terrorism, atomic energy, and massive social upheaval. Now, what exactly is an opposition aspect? It's when two planets in an astrological chart are 180 degrees apart from each other. For example, you could have Mars placed in the first house with Venus placed in the seventh. An opposition is characterized by how these energies are in conflict with each other in terms of how an individual relates to oneself and others. Basically speaking, it's a challenging aspect one must overcome with great self-awareness, understanding how their behaviors upset or offend others, which can lead to conflict if left unchecked. Since this video is about my interpretation of Pluto opposition Pluto, that's what I'll describe. These individuals have the ability to look deeply within themselves and reflect how their actions have influenced the greater social order. While transiting Pluto opposes natal Pluto, they will assess how they've lived their lives, how they've changed the lives of other people, how they've used their skills and talents for good and evil, and how much happiness and sorrow they've brought. This is a time of deep analysis of all of their life actions. They can make peace with how karma has shaped them and start anew. Usually, by the time they cleanse themselves of all the shadow energy, accumulated during their lifetime, they physically pass away. Not everyone will live to experience their own Pluto opposition Pluto transit, but when someone does, they will come to terms with death more easily. They will accept how this material world is finite and prepare to pass on to another dimension. They will become aware that they are eternal spiritual beings living a temporary physical existence how they're multi-dimensional beings within an infinite multiverse. Since these planets are in opposition to each other, however, these realizations will bring great pain and suffering and the harshest of truths to these individuals. The greater universe may either reward or punish them for any serious actions they've caused, depending on the decisions they've made throughout their lives. But Pluto also brings about rebirth, so these people can forgive themselves and make changes to prepare for a new incarnation. So there you go, my own analysis of the Pluto opposition Pluto transit. I haven't found much information about this particular aspect through YouTube, so I thought I would make my own video. Gosh, to me, Pluto energy is so fascinating. So, I'll close by saying peace. Much love and namaste. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Be safe and kind to one another. And see you in the next video. Godspeed.